Joining us right now, just fresh from him voting himself this morning, is Republican nominee Donald Trump's son and the executive vice president of the Trump Organization, Eric Trump, with us. Eric, good to see hey, you. It's good to be with you, Mary. Wow, what a day. It's here. How are you feeling? What a ride it's been. Honestly, it's incredible. I mean, one of, one of the proud moments of my life was this morning, going in, checking that box for him. It's, uh, it's incredible. And uh, what he's done, the movement he's created, everybody wrote him off. You know, no one wanted to believe. I mean, there were very, very few people there that said he could ever do it. He went through the primaries. He won against... 17 different people. He created a movement, and you know, I was at the rallies last night. Um, you know, all over the place. There was 20,000 people, and the people waited wow. out outside for six hours to get in. And the signs and the this. I mean, he's really bringing, brought a great spirit to this country. And you know, people want our nation back, and people are sick and tired of the the career of corrupt politicians. And you know, they want this country back and this tremendous spirit and what he's done is just incredible and I am so proud of him. There's no doubt that, the, that there's momentum and there's vibrancy yes. in the Trump campaign and the Trump camp. You said the other day that you think that there is this hidden vote happening that will swing the election for your father. What's causing this hidden enthusiasm? Yeah. How, do you, how do you feel that hidden vote w yeah. when you go out? I know you've been crisscrossing the country all weekend. I mean, you yeah. guys are like a machine. I, I've literally traveled tens and tens of thousands of miles in every state and every swing state. I've touched hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. And everywhere I go, people say, listen, I've never voted before. I'm, they always started with, I'm embarrassed to admit that I've never voted before. And I'm coming out for Trump. And everybody I know is coming out for your father. And you know, I hear from people all the time, I've been a lifelong Democrat, and I'm coming out for your father. All wow. workers, trucker unions, I mean, so many different people, and we're coming out for your father, and we're sick and tired of career politicians. And I hear that all the time, and I think that's going to manifest itself. And I also think the enthusiasm gap is huge. I mean, we have tremendous enthusiasm on our sides. You see that at the rallies. I think there's very little enthusiasm on the other side, and I just think we're going to win this. I mean, people love his message of America first. He's a winner. He will fight harder, and you see that based on his schedule on the mm. campaign trail. Yeah. He will fight harder than any human being has ever fought for this country before, and we're going to make this country great again, and he's the uh, amazing man he's going to do it. And yet, he, she's got a lot of celebrities, right? She's got uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce and, and uh, Bruce Springsteen, Lady Gaga last night, and yet the enthusiasm doesn't match what you're seeing at the Trump rallies, and all it is is Donald Trump and his family. Yeah. I, I don't know if cool's transferable. I mean, I've said that before. I just don't know if cool is transferable, but <laughs> listen, it, it has been my father and our family uh, and the American people, and that's why we are here today. Uh, you know, we've been beat by special interest funds. You know, the special interests aren't giving us the money. The Clinton campaign has maybe the greatest political machine in the history of political machines, but I, I don't know if that helps, honestly. People want change. Everybody is sick and tired of the federal government, the overreach, mm. uh, the excessive taxes, health care failing, as you're seeing. I mean, what, what plan has our government put in place that's helped the American people over the last 30 years. Right. 95 million people out of the workforce in this country, median income hasn't gone up a penny in the last 15 years. I mean, you have so many issues. We've lost 70,000 factories, Maria. 70,000 wow. factories in wow. this country since Bill Clinton signed NAFTA. People are, people are sick of our politicians not representing them and quite frankly lining their own pockets yeah. the entire time. And with, with all of that and the focus on jobs and, and, and this need for economic growth, the drain the swamp theme really resonated because with all of that, it turned into an election about end the corruption, sure. end the, you know, the cronyism. And that really uh, created some momentum for him. Listen, there's a poll that says 90% 90, 90 of people think that Washington is doing a bad job for the American people. Why would you expand it? Yeah. Why would you expand Washington, D.C. if 90% of the people already think it's doing a horrible job? And, you know, we've got to cut taxes. We've got to lower regulations. We've got to bring business back into this country. We need to bring manufacturing back into the country. We have to bring jobs back into the country. We need to build the greatest military that we've ever had. And we have to do that efficiently. Efficiently. Not spend $11 trillion over seven years like President Obama did. I mean, we're, you know, I mean, on, on the brink of fiscal, uh, it, it's horrible. Yeah. I mean, just a reckless, reckless spending. And, and, and what you're mentioning really hits to some of those Rust Belt states that I know you've been focused on. You went to Michigan. You, you, you're, you're looking at Pennsylvania right. for, for a possible move. What state in that regard is most important? What are you going to be focused on tonight in terms of as these polls close? Well, I've spent a lot of time in Michigan, and it feels amazing. I mean, the love in that state is incredible. And I've spent a lot of time in Ohio, and this exact same thing, and same with Pennsylvania. But you, know, you look at some of that, that Rust Belt. I mean, I, I just drove by the closed Ford factory, Maria. This is the biggest factory you've ever seen. They moved all their jobs to Mexico. 15,000 jobs right, went down to Mexico. Small car factory, right? Yeah, yeah small sure. car division of, of Ford Motors. You, you try to find this factory. There wasn't a single light on. 
There wasn't a single car in the parking lot. These parking lots rival the biggest NFL football stadiums. There wasn't a single car. It was dead. It was hopeless. It was so, so sad. I mean, I took a picture of it, and it's a picture I'll, I'll always remember. And it's just the vibrancy that used to be there, and it's no longer there. Now it's outside our country. And thousands and thousands of workers were laid off, and their families are affected in perpetuity because of it and everything else. It's horrible that our politicians are allowing that to happen, and they're not doing a single thing about it. And it's not even that they're not doing something about it. They won't even acknowledge the fact that it's a problem, and, and it's so sad. And, and your father's been so effective at that, and really, it resonates with people. Let me ask you, because in, in Hillary Clinton's closing arguments last night, she mentioned what happened at the last debate uh, when uh, Donald Trump was asked, look, will you accept the results? So I ask you today, should he lose the election, will he concede? Will we have a peaceful transfer of power, yeah. and will he help to bring the country together yeah. despite the fact that he is not? He's always said absolutely, so, so long as there's no games, no funny business, no anything mm -hmm. else. And uh, listen, no, no, no question about it. I really believe we're going to win tonight. I mean, I really I feel something that's out there right now. I mean, I just feel something that's out there, and I think we're going to take a lot of states that have never gone Republican before. You're seeing that. I mean, we're heading Colorado right now. It's never gone Republican, at least not for a very long time. We're, you know, we're doing so well in Nevada. We're doing so well in New Hampshire. We're doing so well in Michigan. We're doing so well in Pennsylvania. I mean, yes. these states, hey, you know there's a problem if Hillary Clinton is campaigning in Pennsylvania and Michigan excessively over the last five days. So I think we're going to turn a lot of those states. And again, my, you know, I know my father has, you know, I worked across the table with him for a very long time. And there is no better leader. There is no harder worker. There is no, you know, person who will negotiate, you know, harder for this nation. Um, he's an amazing man, and he knows how to win, um, and this country will start winning again, and that's what everybody wants. Actually, it was incredible that President Obama had to go to Michigan uh, for Hillary. People were like, wow, she must be worried about Michigan if she's sending the big guns in there. Real quick, first 100 days, let's say y your team wins. Yeah. What's going to be his most important policy that first 100 days? Jobs, jobs, taxes, health care. I mean, health care is a disaster. You mm -hmm. see the premiums all over the country going up by ridiculous amounts. I mean, it's, it's, it's robbing people. I mean, it's taking people out, you know, money out of people's wallets. Taxes were the highest tax nation in the world. Regulation is killing our businesses. We also have to build the greatest military that we've ever had because we live in a dangerous, dangerous time and we have a depleted military in this country. And, you know, we also have to focus on education. Our educational system is ranked 30th in the world. Reading comprehension is 34th. Math skills is 37th. We have to focus on all those things. I mean, we better get to work as a country, otherwise we're going to have a real problem. What an incredible year. Eric, yeah. great to see you. Thank you, Maria. We'll be watching. Thank you, Thank you so much. Eric Trump joining us there. Just